summers ago when a big stretch of Mound Road got fresh pavement. Now the city of Sterling Heights has a lot of money allocated toward more road work on Mound and it has some taxpayers wondering what is going on. Steve Gargiola has some answers. This is Mound Road. A year ago you could barely drive on this road. It was such a broken up pothole mess. But look at it now. Go on, take a close look. It's smooth. It's beautiful, which has a lot of people asking, you just fixed Mound Road. Why are you going to tear it up again? That's a fair question. Drivers dealt with road work and orange barrels near the end of last year on Mound Road. And now Mound Road looks smooth and new, but looks can be deceiving. Mound Road was in terrible condition last year. We couldn't wait any longer to uh, to delay repairs from 14 to 18 mile. If you drive on that, it looks like a brand new road. However, it wasn't built to last for 10, 20, 30 years. It was just a temporary band-aid. Because over the next half dozen years, Mound Road will be completely rebuilt from 696 to M59, utilizing a lot of federal money. A brand new road before the Band-Aid falls off. We got about $98 million from the federal government. It was the single largest federal grant for a local road project in the country's history. It's coming to Mound Road. It's called Innovate Mound. For this year, Sterling Heights has budgeted $23.7 million to make repairs on Shaner, Hayes, Utica, Metro Parkway, even 35 neighborhood streets funded through a millage residents passed. They agree to pay a little bit more for these roads, and uh, it's showing because we're getting that work done in Sterling Heights. It'll be about nine months or so before the orange barrels come back out here on Mound Road for the big rebuild. So that brand new Mound Road is coming. You just got to be patient. In Sterling Heights, I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4.